And I'm sure Honorable Nakumisha, who is her mother, understands that better than me, who is not a mother. Now, if me, who is not a mother, can feel the pain of a woman who is a mother, surely Honorable Nakumisha, surely. You are embarrassing us as your fellow women. We want to protect you as our fellow woman, but we don't want you to come to this parliament. You are putting us in a crisis, in a fix. We want to be here as women MPs, protecting and supporting you. But you cannot be in a docket where you are the one who is sabotaging your fellow women. Please note that one of the crises that this country already has without the one you are giving them further is the issue of high child mortality and even uh, for, for, for mothers. We have very high mortality for mothers. Yeah, uh, postnatal maternity. So I'm just asking that if we know that that is already a problem that this country is facing, how can we have a situation that we are making it worse? Just as she has said, you cannot expect women to hold on. It's not like us here where we want to look nice to you and we tell you tuck in and we tuck in our stomach. We can't tuck in babies for the, all those for those days waiting for the camera to click. This is a life and death situation. So we want her to please. Please, before you put us in an awkward situation where we have to confront you as fellow women, consider and sort out that issue within five days. We need our women, even that five days is too much. Because a death that has happened today cannot be recovered tomorrow. A child who is dead today cannot be recovered. A woman who is dead today cannot be resurrected tomorrow. This is now, we know we've come from Easter, but we are not Jesus Christ. We are not going to resurrect after three days. So please, take serious action and make sure that our women are getting the service they need.